the problem is, the biggest problem is, we have a public sector that is not being honest with their search for God. Thank God we have, God has ordained YouTube and the internet, which are fantastic, fantastic God-ordained places where God is being shared because people can learn about God at the private, in the privacy of their own home, at their own speed, 24 seven day and night. And that's why God has ordained the internet and YouTube. It's so that teaching and truth speaking and information can be posted day and night and it can be consumed day and night and all over the world. Okay. People are learning things about God at the speed of light. Okay. And sharing things at the speed of light. That's actually why the internet is here. It's for the glory of God, for God to be known about and shared about. Um, but, uh, just that that's a huge word okay honesty um i i felt strongly i know i've had a word from the lord lately an honest day is an awesome day honest equals awesome equals the sun and you can feel the similarities in them on your lips and analyze how the letters align um an honest day is an awesome day um the problem is people don't think deeply about what they're doing and they don't think deeply about what everyone is doing. And so no one asks the honest question saying, this is pointless, like this, this is meaningless. Man, there's so many messages to preach about things that are not right today, okay? Um, the entire banking system and the mortgage system and the fractional reserve lending is a massive evil. And everyone needs to start calling it what it is because it has so everyone in slavery. It's just, Jesus said, um, even sinners lend to sinners in order to receive as much again. Jesus, who is God, said that even sinners lend in order to get the exact same back. That means no interest, not loaning it interest. And for thousands of years, all over the human race, anyone who loaned money at interest was looked at as a sordid person, a greedy person, a sinner. Even in religions outside of Christianity, if you loaned something to your brother at interest, okay, you were counted a sinner. You, you were shunned. And, you know, this was the case for, you know, even in Jesus' day, okay, the Greeks and the Romans, um, which is why, you know, Jesus, it's like there are so many verses in the Bible, even God speaking in the Old Testament says, you, not, you shall not loan anything to your brother at usury. And um, the entire banking system today, the entire financial so-called system is, is just disgusting. Uh, like the fractional reserve lending, they don't even have the money in physical existence that they loan you for your mortgage. They don't have it. There's, there's a, you know, there's a, there's a tr really true video on um, YouTube by I believe it's a 14 year old girl. The title of the video is like a 14 year old or maybe it's 13 or something like that. A 14 year old girl explains the corrupt banking system in Canada, and I strongly encourage you to watch that video so you understand just how evil this beast is and how big it is. Um, go through your local town, your local city in Canada, and marvel at how all the the prime real estate, all the corner buildings are banks. And you're like, this is insane. Like, this is just insane. Like, never in the history of the world was it applauded that people would loan money at interest to each other. This is not God's best. This is not what Jesus Christ encouraged. This is not what God encouraged when he spoke in the Old Testament. And yet, you know, certain people that benefit from the system are just parading this as normal. And you know how they appease you? Oh, well, you can have a little piece of the interest in the story. Oh, good for you, child. Good for you. You get a little bit extra. It's not of the Lord, okay? I am passionate about God's best, okay? And Jesus said, even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. What he said was, even sinners lend to people without charging interest. Even sinners lend to other people to get as much again. Okay? And then Jesus told us what the, the, the most blessed way is. He said, love your enemies. 
you know, do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return, because then God himself blesses you from behind. It all comes down to education and faith, okay? It, this, is, this is the truth. People that live off of interest are actually suffering. Like, they're, they haven't been taught the truth. They're not living at the highest level that God wants humans to live at, okay? Jesus set people free that were addicted to this accumulation lifestyle, okay? Uh, Nicode uh, Nicodemus uh, Zacchaeus, the, the short tax collector in the tree, you know, Jesus set him free by his presence, his person, his truth speaking, and the man was set free. He, give, he gave away all his goods to the poor. And Jesus said, today salvation has come to this house. And it's freedom, okay? Bankers need freedom, okay? Bankers need freedom from a lifestyle of accumulation based on interest. They need to come to themselves understand what Jesus said, believe that Jesus loves them, and that there is a higher pleasure for them to live at, and it's when you give your money to the poor and to those in need, and you give your money to the cause of the church and the promotion of the names of God and the declaration of truth, truth speakers like myself, seminaries, uh, the, most of all the people who are evangelizing the lost world, go, now you partner with God. Now God enters your life and you feel new joy, you feel real joy, you have real purpose to your life, you do experience divine providence, God actually provides for you in very unique ways that you've never experienced in life. People just think that, hey, the way I get money is by doing a certain thing, okay? God is a very amazing person, okay? When people work for God and work for the salvation of the world, the spreading of the gospel, the spreading of Jesus' teachings, the spreading of the Bible, the spreading of uh, God's truth and truth about God. God has an infinite number of ways by which he provides for them, okay? In creative ways, okay? Jesus materialized gold coins and fishes' mouths. He created f bread and fish out of thin air to feed 5,000 people. Why did he do that? For those people because they were doing the will of God they were so hungry for the truth they they were worshiping Jesus they left many of them would have lost their jobs by taking off into the wilderness for three days to go listen to Jesus I'm sure many of them lost their jobs because they said I have to go listen to the preacher I have to go listen to the Son of God tell me the truth I have to go and worship God I'm gone and they left town and and Jesus took care of them. Jesus materialized food in the wilderness. You know, it, it's just, you know. Um, but let's not kid ourselves. This, this is one of the biggest problems in Canada and the United States and the entire world today is loaning money at interest. It is probably the biggest in terms of number of people involved um, you know, thing that uh, exists on earth today. Um, and it is not God's best. It is simply not. And Jesus told us that. Um, you say, how do I get out of it? You say, well, you stop doing it. If you're someone that is, you know, on the banking side of things and you're, you're, you're getting money coming your way as a result of the interest-based system, get out. Just get out okay and tell people why you're leaving saying i just i got the truth i heard the truth from a preacher i heard the truth from the words of jesus himself i heard the truth from the bible that um loaning money at interest is not blessed and i'm leaving this company and this is why and god's going to provide for me and i'm going to i'm moving on i'm i'm going to live at a higher level of life thank you very much i'm moving on with god and it's a blessing. It's not a curse. You haven't lost out. You're not losing anything. You're gaining. That is the truth. Okay. And um, uh, and the more people start recognizing this and talking about this, um, you know, the more freedom there is for everyone because truth sets people free. Okay. Um, in, in your wildest dreams, did you ever think it would feel really that good for you to be, you know, collecting money from a bunch of renters 
in order to pay a fat mortgage to a bank that you know is just collecting all this day and night and and there's no generosity between people in your life uh, you feel like no one's giving to anyone anymore no one trusts anyone anymore uh, this is not a uh, God level humanity like this this is not what Jesus told and this is anyways okay it's it's bad I encourage you to watch uh, the word mortgage uh, literally means death cage or death pledge, okay? Um, a mortgage is a giant piece of slavery. Uh, but I encourage you to watch the, um, the video posted on YouTube titled A 14-Year-Old Girl, or maybe it's 13, 15, 17, but it's something teen. A 14-Year-Old Girl Explains... Um, the corrupt mortgage system or money lending system in Canada okay and she explains how corrupt it is and everyone should understand this I'm not joking folks uh, months ago when I was tutoring a student's math high school math I opened the book the new textbook in the curriculum and guess what the sinister people have put in chapter one of math fundamentals grade 11 it's credit cards and how interest works in chapter one of high school mathematics literally brainwashing the children telling them hey interest is normal hey people live off of interest hey people loan money at interest like crazy all the time it's the way the world works no it's the way Satan works it's the way sinners try and work it's the way people who are going to hell work and trust me it's not actually working for the whole nation at large we could talk for a long time okay about the problems we could but I just like sharing the scripture of what God has said about loaning money at interest if if you tell people if you make a law in your country that no one that no business is allowed to loan money at interest to anyone else you solve everything you say no it's illegal look it's in the Bible and God knows and there's something that God also ordained in the Bible the year of Jubilee every 50 years all debts were canceled nationwide in Israel because God wanted to keep people free from the love of money he said he he knew that money was not what people are supposed to focus on and he said guys every 50 years by the way the word jubilee parallels father perfectly it's got the plus one at the front three plus two is at the back everything else divides by three it's a flawless gem for father jubilee in total 22 plus oh yeah yeah uh 64 i believe father plus six 42 plus 12 yeah 64 jubilee father plus six it equals israel um but every 50 years, the entire nation, everyone canceled debts that were owed to anyone else. Done. Just canceled them. Said no one owes anything to anyone else every 50 years. So that people got free from this, the, the greed. They got free from the chasing of money and they got free from the love of money. Okay. And... Um, People actually saw people as people rather than dollar bills. People actually saw people as brothers and sisters that, you know, were friends that they could hang out with, that were friends that they could play with, that were friends that they could share meals with and, you know, have fun together with and do business as they desired. And it wasn't a demonic monkey banana grasping fest. Okay. And, um... I tell you, you start backing up the truck and you realize that this whole banking system and the greed and the, the, the lust for money is a large reason why a lot of the academic community uh, started believing in evolution. Because they're just like, hey, hey, preacher's not saying anything. Hey, looks like everyone else is just grasping for money in any way that they can. Hey, I, I have an idea. We must have all descended from apes because this is totally ape-like behavior that everyone's just grasping as much from each other as they can. Oh, man, okay. It's retarded. It's not of God. It's a lie of Satan. And if you want a happier life, if you want a God life, you simply need to open your mouth and say, this is sin. And I refuse. 
would you, you know, I don't preach things for people's less happiness. I preach things for people's greater happiness. I don't preach things because I hate the person. Absolutely not. I love all people. I preach things because I hate the sin and that it's less happiness for people and it's a problem. Okay. People have believed a lie and, um, You know, loaning money and interest uh, is not God's best. Let's put it that way. It's not God's best. And I, I don't want anything less than God's best. Oh, yeah, the analogy I wanted to make was if you were at a buffet or a food store and you have a simple opportunity to choose, say, hey, am I going to consume this, like, you know, ugly can of worms or am I going to consume this, you know, pile of fruit that God made for me to consume? Consume the pile of fruit because it's a good idea. It's the best thing there is. You know, it's, don't loan money at interest. It's not the best thing there is. There's a better way for people to treat each other. There's a better way for people to live. Done. And it's called the word repent. It means change your mind. And who knows? It might require, God might ordain a big fallout in the financial system. 